The leader of the Lebanese paramilitary organization Hezbollah says the Syrian president will not be toppled because of his allies in the region. Hassan Nasrallah's announcement came hours after 14 people were killed in an explosion in Damascus. The fighting in Syria is as fierce as ever, with neither side appearing to gain the upper hand. But now pro-government fighters near the country's borders are turning for increasing support to their allies in neighbouring territories. Hezbollah, the Lebanese Shia movement, has confirmed its support for the Assad regime. There are two friends of Syria around the world. They won't allow Syria to fall into the hands of America, Israel and Sunni extremists. Whoever needs help, we will not hesitate to give it. Government forces are fighting hard to push back the opposition. This footage, which we can't verify, apparently shows rebel forces taking over a military airbase. And a bomb in the capital Damascus on Tuesday killed at least 14 people. But so far, the international community is wary about becoming more deeply embroiled in this conflict. The target of the bombing is not immediately clear, but rebels fighting to topple President Bashar Assad's regime have increasingly attacked Damascus. The incident comes following yesterday's attack on the Prime Minister's convoy in another part of the capital. The government office district has been recently hit by a series of explosions. Analysts say the attacks could indicate that President Bashar al-Assad's government is losing control of the capital. The wounded were still being evacuated when we arrived at the scene, just minutes after a car bomb ripped through this area in front of a government building. Mohammed Aga was close by when the attack happened. I saw uh, several, uh, let's say, bags uh, full of uh, parts of human beings here. It's okay. They are carrying them. And then the ambulances came, hurried here. A crater marks the spot where the bomb was detonated, apparently hidden in a minibus. The security forces here are very nervous, obviously, after the blast. If you look at the building, you can see just how bad the damage is. The windows are all blown out, the security fence has been blown away, and there is a lot of carnage here, right in front of the old Interior Ministry building. It's the second major bombing in just two days in Damascus. As the civil war in Syria drags on and President Bashar al-Assad clings to power, many in Syria's capital believe Iraq-style terror attacks will become more frequent. Some blame Islamist extremist groups and the U.S. for supporting the opposition. They are killing our people. Even Washington knows, even the West knows that they are terrorists. Why they are providing them with weapons? The U.S. says it provides only non-lethal aid to the opposition, and aside from political talk, others, like this woman, are simply shocked at what is happening to their country. They are all our children, she says, and it is sad. We are all Syrians killing each other. If anything, the increased bombings appear to be strengthening the resolve of Bashar al-Assad's supporters. God, Syria, Bashar, and nothing else. These men chant at the blast site, while the emergency workers are still busy picking up the remains of those who were killed.